What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're swimming in a volcano. So on my way to Lawrence Lake, I came across this little area right here which opens up and you get a great view of uh, Mount Hood and there's a nice stream and some bear trees that look really creepy. And I've been looking out with a lot of clear nights while in Oregon and tonight's going to be another clear night. So I'm actually going to shoot a Milky Way here tonight and take a look at the view. Yeah, this place is gorgeous and I really want to fly the drone up this creek and get a great shot of the mountain, but unfortunately this is a no-fly zone, so I'm just going to be taking some still images and uh, I'm not going to be here that long because I have to wake up early tomorrow and head to Painted Hills. But uh, yeah, I just want you guys to see the view. So we left the gorge and we headed down south towards the Painted Hills. And I just love this place. All the different color striations from lava, soot, and ash. And, uh, you know, they're just dated back to millions and billions of years. And all these different colors represent a different period of time. So it's really fascinating and amazing to check out. The hike back up is gonna suck. What's up guys, we're at Crater Lake and we're heading down the Cleetwood Cove Trail to do a boat tour and go all over Crater Lake and enjoy the beautiful blue water. And then we're gonna go scouting locations for me to photograph the Milky Way towards the north side of this lake. So I'll show you guys those spots that I pick out and get an idea of what I'm gonna be shooting. But man, the weather here is beautiful. 
It's almost too beautiful. I wish it was a little cloudy. Just like the other locations in Oregon, it's been crystal clear during the day and night. A uh, little hazy in the evenings, but we'll make the best of it. There's your boat. So we just finished the boat tour of Cleetwood Cove and I highly recommend it because we learn a lot about Crater Lake and how it's actually a collapsed volcano known as a caldera and uh, just jumped into it which is pretty awesome to say that you jumped into a volcano. So uh, now we got to trek back up a bunch of switchbacks to get back to the parking lot and then we're going to go continue hunting for places to photograph this volcano. So stay tuned for all that. We're scouting out a couple locations for a south facing Milky Way. Uh, we came in through the north entrance and right where it divides from the west rim and the east rim you have this cool little pull out section here and there's a spot right where those girls are if you can see them right on that little rock formation right there. Right over there I plan on shooting one of my Milky Way images and then there's a really cool creepy tree uh, about a minute of the road here going towards the west rim. So let's go to the other spot. Alright, so I'm heading to the second location. It's uh, 
right up this little dirt path. Look how blue that water is, it's amazing. So the second location is this tree right here. It's an old white pine tree, really creepy and beautiful. So this is the second shot I plan on taking at Crater Lake. We got this old white pine tree, really creepy and beautiful Wizard Island. And the Milky Way should be roughly to the right of Wizard Island, somewhere in this vicinity right here. So that's going to be the second shot. Again, I'm going to be taking this around twilight. The sun's going to set somewhere in this direction. So uh, at twilight, it'll actually cast a little bit of light on this tree naturally so I won't have to use any artificial lighting and uh, it should be pretty cool. So it's a little windy over here so it might be hard to hear me but I'm heading back to the tree that I'm going to use for my foreground and as you can see the sun is setting behind me so um, I'm going to wait till it gets a little darker take my foreground shots and then I'm gonna blend it with some tracked Milky Way shots afterwards but uh, this way I get a nice clean foreground image